The FBI is reportedly warning banks about a potential worldwide ATM hacking scheme. According to a cybersecurity blog, hackers can use malware to access a bank or payment card processor to steal data and then use that stolen information to withdraw large amounts of cash from ATMs worldwide. Charles Henderson is global managing partner with IBM X-Force Red. This is a team of so-called white hat hackers who help companies uncover vulnerabilities in their own security systems. Charles, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Is this a new vulnerability we're hearing about? Uh, you know, what do you make of this warning from the FBI? So, um, at its core, the FBI is addressing a, a lack of care and feeding in the ATM world. If you think about all the things that banks have had to secure and have been focusing on, uh, such as uh, networks, applications, uh, any number of things. Uh, they've, they've, they've been ignoring the ATM security posture for some time. They've been treating it like a magic box. And, and those, that, that ignoring has come home to roost. And the criminals are now targeting ATMs uh, because they're vulnerable. They, they haven't been tested. So is a hack imminent, do you think? And what types of banks might be the most vulnerable, the, the big guys like the J.P. Morgans and such, or smaller banks? So you, you have to remember at its court, let's, let's take a step back. Let's put ourselves in the shoes of a criminal. Criminals want money. And, and it, it just turns out that cash monetizes extremely easily. So they, they're going to attack ATMs with accounts that have a lot of money, and they're going to raise the limits for the withdrawal of those accounts so that they, they can get the highest return on investment in one action. Mm -hmm. uh, think about it this way. Criminal enterprises are business not unlike any other, and, and they're trying to raise their ROI. Right. <laughs> um, I can hear the people at home thinking, okay, now hopefully banks are doing something about this to improve their security, but what should I be doing uh, with my bank accounts here? How safe are they? So, so there's really sort of a two-part scenario here. First of all, the onus mostly falls on the banks. The banks need to sure up the ATMs. They need to conduct dedicated testing programs against the ATM. And when I say testing, I mean penetration testing, right. uh, the kind of work that X-Force Red does, which is uh, test these so that the first time they're tested, it isn't a criminal. The other thing banks need to do is monitor accounts for um, out-of-the-ordinary withdrawal patterns as well as out of the ordinary patterns in the uh, daily withdrawal limit. Now for consumers, even though it's not their responsibility per se, there's a couple things they can do to Very sort of quickly, if I can, Charles. make sure that uh, they're taken care of. One is uh, look at their account, make sure that they're monitoring the charge history. They should be doing that anyway. The second is call the number on the back of the card and investigate their daily withdrawal limit. Make sure it's acceptable. Be vigilant, that's for sure. Charles Henderson with IBM X-Force Red. Thanks. Appreciate it tonight. Thank you for having me. Coming up, a restaurant